Hey everyone, today was a good day at work and uh, all my clients really love my salon and they love the peaceful and quiet atmosphere that I created for them. So I just wanna go over a few things that I really would like to stress that is very important for everyone to know. Okay, I'm gonna have a deposit policy and I'm gonna read everything that I wrote down in my notebook right here. So this is my notebook. I keep all of my business in right now. I'm gonna get me a new notebook. Okay, but anyway, this one has a lot of sheets left in it. So here we go. Okay, so um, the deposit policy uh, goes like this. There's a $30 deposit is required to secure your appointment with me. Okay, so this will go towards your salon service and if you cancel or you are no-show for this appointment, this will be forfeited. Your $30 deposit is not refundable because people have canceled their appointments on me like they just don't care that I'm running a business. This is a business, okay? You can't just make an appointment with me and don't come because I could have filled that spot. So, you make your $30 uh, deposit, so it is up to you to keep your appointment or you lose your $30 because you certainly don't care about me losing my money. All right, so now let's move it along to the premium appointments. So there's an additional $30 required for appointments that are before my start time for the day and after my end time for the day for me to be working. So, that goes for holidays, Sundays, and Mondays because I do not work on those days. In the past, I have come in for clients on those days. They don't tip, uh, and then sometimes they wouldn't even come. And they would have me getting up, coming outside, so, and just driving, using my gas, spending my time. I mean, they just taking time away from my day. I could have been doing something else. So, anyone that asks me to do their hair before my start time, after my start time, or on Sunday and Monday, there's a $30 um, additional payment that you have to pay me. Now this doesn't have anything to do with the deposit po uh, policy because in order to book me, you have to make a $30 deposit because that's going towards your salon service. So it's best that you show up for your appointment so that you won't lose your money. So, my salon hours, if you're wondering about that, is Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, with that being said, um, I'm reading this out to the clients that do come to me. And the ones that don't, don't even worry about it, okay? All right, so, let me take those off. Like I said, I'm happy I have my new salon suite and my clients that come here, they're happy too. So while you're just wanting to pay a cheaper price for your hair, you're sitting around a lot of people in a salon, people talking, people taking their mask off, germs and everything everywhere. They don't even use Lysol. Let me get my Lysol out. These people don't have nothing and you're going in there. All right, y'all, I got Clorox wipes. I got Lysol. I got Lysol. I got, I got, I got Lysol, okay? Y'all sitting up here going to these places and just because it's cheaper, you have no concern about your health and you're just going. At least I clean up. I sanitize. I keep my space very clean. So, I'm going to let you guys know uh, about another business venture. Uh, I've done this in the past already, so I already know what it takes to do it. So, I'm going to launch another business, and I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is right now. And um, when I launch it, that's when you'll know, okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to end this video. And you guys that didn't join me when I 
posted this video. So if you look at the uh, replay, give me a thumbs up for this video. If you like the content that I just posted, because some people don't have any regards of respecting the chair. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.